Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Monday. I'm up at the north end of Area 2 at Del Norwigans Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Beautiful Monday morning. 76 degrees. Expecting a high of 90 today. We've been getting some pretty good afternoon rainstorms, thunderstorms for the past few days. Beautiful out here right now. That golf is so calm. It's been really calm for the past, oh, I don't know, week. When I was out here last night, we had a really super low tide last night at sunset. Tide is still out. It's out again this morning. There's a full moon in the sky, but it's really hard to see. It's actually, I think it's behind the clouds right now. It's out there. It was right out there earlier. It was really fading out. That's one of the reasons we're having these extreme low tides. Well, let's see what the water looks like here. Looks pretty nice, pretty nice and clear here in area two. Let's walk up the beach a little bit up to the sandbars. See if there's anything out there. Doesn't smell bad out here. Not smelling the red tide. Now the water here does not look much different than the water down south, down around the Naples Pier in Louder Milk Park. It pretty much looks the same to me. People are saying it's much nicer down there. I, I didn't see that. Do not look any nicer down there. The one thing I did notice down there to the south was I did see a few fish swimming around in the water. We haven't seen any fish swimming around offshore here lately. We used to see all kinds of fish out here. Hope oh, I see I see something jumping around. I say that, and I just saw something jumping around out there. Up oh, there it went. Something's chasing a little fish out there. Some little bait fish jumping up out of the water. Nice to see something alive out there. You can see the little ripples right out there. Look how flat that is this morning. Wow. Haven't haven't seen our dolphins lately. These are the kind of conditions that are just awesome when a dolphin comes by. These are old tree stumps here. There's some of some tree stumps out in the water out here too. This is area three. see the just use your imagination if there's tree stumps out here that's how far the beach used to be 
it was I've never seen it out that far since I've been coming here but I'm talking a long time ago but all these tree stumps like this they're out here in the water they make like a little haven for the little fish my friend fisherman Mike says when we didn't have this red tide there's all kinds of fish swimming around out there One of these days, we're gonna take a GoPro and stick it under the water and get some video footage of some of the different types of fish here. But right now, there's not much to videotape with the red tide. As soon as we get out from from these trees, we'll get to see some get some light on the beach there. As soon as we get out from under these pine trees and see what that water looks like up here. It's beautiful weather though this morning, gorgeous. Very, very low tide right now. So as you saw from my post yesterday, Jennifer was released from the hospital. She's already been up to see Roy. Thank goodness for that. Roy, when they unwrapped his leg yesterday, it seemed to be doing a little better. It's it's really a mess. I mean, it's it looks really bad. I mean, there's a big, he's still got a big open wound on his leg, several inches where you can look in and see the tendons and his shin bone. It's not a pretty sight, but it's slowly healing. Some of the smaller wounds are closing up, so that's a good sign and he is doing his best to eat a balanced diet. He's been eating his meat. He's been eating eggs and bacon and sausage for breakfast. And people are bringing him chicken and fish. He loves barbecue spare ribs. So I'm gonna bring him some spare ribs. That little guy, he ate a rack and a half of those one day here. For those of you that know Roy personally, you know he's not a big eater. He ate a rack and a half of ribs one afternoon at the barbecue joint here just down the street. Well, still seeing some marine life, dead marine life washing up on the beach. There's a little eel. You know, there's all kinds of rumors and talk about how long this red tide's gonna last. Some people are saying it might be here until December, huh? When the water really starts cooling down. Nobody really knows. I mean, it's all just a guess. Nobody knows when the red tide's gonna be gone. And is it ever gone? I mean, red tide, always is lingering offshore somewhere. It seems this red tide, I don't know, you know, is there something more than red tide going on here? That's the big question. Moat Marine, they're doing a study. They got some money from the government to finally do a study and see what's, what is going on here. Is it more than red tide down here in Southwest Florida? We know about the green algae and the Lake O releases, but why is this red tide as intense as it is this time around?
boy, that tide is really low this morning. Look at how this beach has changed here. This is all new out here. Just amazing. This is the south end of Area 4 Beach. clear the water is pretty clear up here wow So far, the beach has been pretty clean. It's just a never ending battle here, keeping the beaches clean, picking up the dead fish and whatnot. As quick as they pick them up, more just wash in. I mean, sadly, there's just uh, God knows how many dead fish floating out there in the Gulf. They will just be washing ashore. It's sad. Yesterday when I was down at the pier, we saw lots and lots of little sand dollars, little baby sand dollars all dead, washed up on the beach. Same, same story here. There's Here's one down here. We've just been seeing tons of little dead sand dollars on the beach. fish that washed up onto the beach overnight. Lots of little shells out here this morning. I'm trying to walk along here and look and see if I can find something interesting. Something to add to my collection. When it's low tide like this, you got a really big area. It's just covered with shells. All this, this is all covered with shells here. I 
kind of hard to see. <laughs> Gotta walk back and forth. This would be a great time to come out and do some shelling right now while the tide is still out. Everybody that's sending Roy cards, boy, he really appreciates that. He's gotten a lot of get well cards. Keep them coming. Anything we can do to lift his spirits. If you wanna come visit him, that's awesome too. He'll take all the visitors he can get. He's at the Solaris Rehab Center, Solaris Healthcare, up in North Naples on 41, right by the entrance to Imperial. Imperial Golf Course. hard seeing here. The sun is right in my eyes here. I didn't, I have not seen anything, any special shells here. Just their usual lots of clam shells and mossy arc shells and all the usual things we see on the beach here. There's a lot of decaying, rotting fish right in this area here. Not much left of them. Not much left of them there. Go check on this sea turtle nest up here. Nest number 55. Yeah, there's been something digging around there, but it doesn't look like they got into it. The raccoons have been digging around it, but it doesn't look like they got into it. So that nest is still several weeks away from hatching, nest 55. We're up in area four now at Del Norwegans. There's an osprey just took off from the 
pine tree over here on the right. It's heading out into the Gulf. Here he comes, coming up by me here. I don't know if you can see it, it's just a little speck up there. Looks like he's coming back to the tree here. Where's he going? Well, just, just passing by. Gonna fly down the beach. Gorgeous out here. Look at that sky, huh? Kind of getting used to having the beach to myself. There was maybe a couple handfuls of people here over the weekend. Nothing like it normally is. Again, this is a, I'd say this is an extreme low tide we're at right now. We do have a full moon, so that's a big contributor to the tides. Thought I would have found some pretty interesting shells by now. All the little birds out here. Got quite a variety here, seagulls and terns and sandpipers. Here's just proof that the red tide's still out here. All these dead fish on the beach. Just because you don't see it or smell it doesn't mean it's not out there.
a normal low tide is usually right about here. As you can see, it's a lot lower this morning. Nice line of little shells, but still not seeing anything. Or maybe is that a whelk over there, a little whelk shell? Maybe. Yep, a little lightning whelk. There's a little lightning whelk. One shell. seeing any moon shells out here. Lots of oyster shells. Oyster shells are interesting. Interesting shapes. Of course this red tide is ruined all of our oysters, all of our shellfish. There's the tip of a fighting conch, just the very top of a fighting conch shell, the point. It's kind of cool. It's so quiet out here. There's a really old piece of a really old piece of a really old crown conch. Flat Gulf of Mexico this morning. The water's pretty good up here, pretty clear. This is Area 4, the north end of Area 4, where I'm at right now.
still. Some dead fish on the beach. Hmm. Uh, somebody emailed me yesterday and said they were planning on visiting in December. And do I think the red tide's going to be gone by then? I'll tell you what, I wish I had the answer. I wish I knew. <laughs> As I said earlier, some people are predicting this red tide is going to linger on and until possibly December until the water starts cooling down I don't know if that's a horrible thought see three people on the beach here besides myself. A beautiful morning like this and only three people out here. So sad. Almost piece of abandoned tulip shell down here. That would have been a beautiful find right there. Just a broken banded tulip. That would have been a gorgeous find. Beautiful colors on the banded tulip shells. Quite a few little worm shells out here on the beach this morning. I just haven't been picking them up. A lot of little worm shells, worm tips, worm shells. Looks like probably an old crown conch right there, a piece of one. Cockle shell down there. little cockle shell. What's that? A little baby moon shell maybe over here? Yeah, look at that. A little tiny baby shark eye shell. Little baby moon shell. Little baby shark eye. Cool. That's pretty neat. Nice little find. That's a small one. Wow. It's real easy to walk past these little tiny shells, these little babies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? Good. Finding anything Not yet. Yeah, me neither. Just some yep, that's it. All babies.
A lot of you probably recognize where we're at right now. We're up in area four where Roy would normally be sitting. Up by Audrey's bench, which is up underneath the trees over there. Roy has vowed never to go back into the water again. His swimming days at the beach are over. And he won't be coming to the beach until the red tide is gone. He's still gonna come out here, but he's gonna keep his swimming to the pool at his house. So that's a big change for Roy. Not taking his plunges, but the doctor told him he should stay out of the water. His immune system is not what it used to be. Water does not look too bad here. Water doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Down you saw some crabs. Well, that's good. Well, that's a good sign. I hope that's a good sign. Yeah. Any kind of life out here. You too. Well, that's neat. She said she saw a lot of crabs down in area one. been seeing a lot of dead crabs on the beach. Really? It's just an absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Look at that sky. Not much of a breeze. I've seen a lot of fighting conks out here, fighting conch shells. Florida fighting conks, but not any live ones. That's a shame. There's one of the fighting conk shells right down here. This one, it's got some barnacles growing on it, it's starting to grow on it. The Florida fighting conk. I am just surprised we haven't found any more nice little shells out here. I'm sure there are. I'm sure I walked by thousands of them, but I was expecting to find a little more. Little scallop shell.
Ooh, nice, nice little shell here. Beautiful, beautiful little banded tulip shell. Look at that. That's a beauty right there. That is a beautiful shell. A beautiful, let me get that dirt off it. A beautiful banded, little banded tulip shell. That is gorgeous right there. That is a really nice find. That's a beauty right there. I showed you a piece of one earlier. That's a great little find. All little shells today. I think I'll take a walk up to the up to Wiggins Pass here, up to the end of the park, the north end of the park, and see what it looks like. We actually have some beach to walk on because it's low tide. Go up to the pass and see what the water looks like. Normally we can we can barely pass through here. Even at a normal low tide. There's just a little tiny strip of beach to walk on here. I'm lonely out here. I need somebody to come out here and keep me company. I've got the place to myself here. Seen a lot of fish bones on the beach. Not entire skeletons, just bits and pieces of fish bones. Some pretty big ones at that. There have been some really large fish that have washed up on the beaches here in Southwest Florida. Groupers, Goliath groupers. Even a whale shark, that was sad, a whale shark. It's really sad that some dolphins have died in this ordeal. Manatees and dolphins and sea turtles. It's horrible, all the things that are dying. 
We've seen a few sea turtles here on the beach at Del Nor Wiggins. One of them was a Kemp's Ridley, which is a very rare endangered sea turtle. Nice little cockle shell, not so little, pretty good size cockle. Now well, we're coming up to the end of the beach here. The end or the beginning However you want to look at it. The north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Looks like the tide is still going out up here. So the water usually isn't very pretty when the tide's going out. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of pelicans lately. Uh, but it's, I'm guessing they moved on because there's not a lot of fish out here. So they probably moved on to cleaner water somewhere. <laughs> it's going to be so nice when our beach gets back to normal. And our dolphins come back. Our pelicans come back, our manatees come back. As you can see the water just as I get closer to the pass up here. It's on a different color here. That could be from the red tide, but it's most likely this color is because of the mangrove trees. They have what's called tannins and they're just like a dark brown and as the tide comes out from all the canals and everything brings us like it looks like iced tea the water so right now the tide's coming out but we'll see tide is definitely coming out. I can see the water moving up here in the pass now. Saturday, it was gorgeous up here. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful colors in the water, the sky, some boats going out. I did take a couple pictures and posted them. I need to take some time and check out my photos and videos that I've taken over the years here at the park. It's amazing how much it has changed just because of the red tide, but just in general. This beach is always changing shape. It has changed drastically in the past six months, the shape of this beach, I mean drastically. We've lost a lot of beach and we've gained a lot of beach in places here. This is about a mile 
beach here at Del Mar Wiggins. Because of our summer storms and extreme high tides and low tides, this beach is just constantly changing. Not very pretty right now. I can, know, I can pretty much come up here any time of year when the tide is going out and it's kind of look like this. It's out of the Cocahatchee River. That's looking east up the Cocahatchee River there. Boy, in better times this place would be full of fishermen out here. Just full of fishermen. Not now. here at Barefoot Beach. Look at that. It's almost deserted. It is deserted. Nobody out there at Barefoot Beach. That's Fort Myers Beach, way out there in the background. But nobody across the pass. I see, well, I take that back. I see one lone soul out there on the beach. Barefoot Beach. Over there. Roy and I used to come out here at sunrise and watch the dolphins playing. Bad sight. Of course, all of our politicians are getting paid. It doesn't affect their paychecks. So why should they care? There's a pile of little shells right down here along the edge of the water. it's getting to be time to turn around and start walking back down the beach.
Well, one other person out here on the beach walking with me. <laughs> Normally this place would I'll have at least half a dozen fishermen standing out here, but not now. I haven't seen any boats, not one boat going by. Beautiful weather though. Gosh, it's just so gorgeous out here, the sky. Beautiful blue sky. We'll get lucky and find something on the way back here. Something that I missed. It's amazing how just the angle of the sun, you know, changes all the shadows of the shells along the shore here. And you can walk up and down this beach all day long and find something you missed every time. Starting to warm up now. It was really nice earlier, 76 degrees when we first came out. You know, all these trees you see here, they, it's all got knocked down by Hurricane Irma last September, September of 2017. A lot of folks seem to think that Hurricane Irma has something to do with this red tide being as bad as it is. 
That's very possible. I mean, it definitely stirred up the waters when she came through. So possibly she does have something to do with this red tide. Who knows? And like I said, maybe there's something more than red tide happening out here that they don't know about yet. Hopefully they're going to find out soon. Well, I have passed one, two, three people on the beach so far this morning. Not very many people. Like I said, for all intents and purposes, the beach is deserted. There's one of Roy's shells hanging up here. One of Roy's shells on the shell tree. A lot of people call it a prayer tree. There's one of them. I had a couple more here somewhere. Looks like people have combined taken them off. There's one up here. That was one of Roy's. We hung that one there for Roy. And we hung that little one there the other day, Saturday, for Roy and Jennifer. That was Roy and Jennifer's shell right there. You see how as soon as I get away from the pass, the water starts changing color right away. I just, this is just, am, just amazing, sad, <laughs> lots of different things. I look down this beach, look at that. Nobody out here. Nobody. A deserted beach. Hmm. You know, there's times in the winter here that you wish the beach looked like this because it's so crowded. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it gets back to that situation. So sad though, still. Here's an eel, a dying eel on the beach. Dying from red tide, taking its last breaths right there. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I could push it back in the water, but sadly it's not gonna survive. It's 
slowly, slowly dying from the red tide. Look at this, folks. Look at all these crabs down here. Look at these blue crabs. Signs of life. There's one there. There's one over there. There's, oh, three, four blue crabs out here. See them running away from me? Water's not real clear here. Well, that's a good sign. Seeing some blue crabs. All we were seeing were dead crabs on the beach. The water's not the best right here. But signs of life. That is awesome. There's another one over here. Where is it? Where did that blue crab go? Right there. You know, where is he? I can't see him. See him down in there? So there's half a dozen blue crabs right here along the shore. There's one sticking his claws up in the air at me over here. Trying to fight me. See him there looking right, right straight up at me. A live blue crab. Awesome. I'm gonna try and get a picture of that. Bear with me. Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's try and get a picture of these crabs, but they keep swimming away from me. It's just nice to see some life down here in the water. See them down here? I actually saw some kind of fish swimming by. There's another crab down there. There's quite a few of them along here. Wow, there's a lot of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, piles of them, piles of blue crabs off the beach here, up in area five. Wow. This is as far as I can see. That is a good, good sign. See them out here in the water? That is a really good sign. Just all along the beach here. Wow. That is incredible. See them all out here? That is the most life we have seen at the beach in a long time. Hopefully they're not dying. They're all out in the water here. That is so cool. There's a little baby one scooting along there. Lots of little babies now down here, but they're all offshore. There's a little ridge line right over here, and that's where they all are. Look at them all. See them as I walk. As I walk by them, they swim out into the deeper water. Wow. 
while. Boy, that's awesome. So happy, so happy to see some life out here in the water. And they just continue. More and more of them. As I walk along the beach here. Wish the water was a little clearer. Wow. Unfortunately, but, you know, I would not recommend you eat any of these blue crabs <laughs> because of the red tide. Sad. They are a tasty treat, the blue crabs. Maybe we'll see some more when we get down into the sunlight here in the clearer water. That was pretty cool. Now, yeah, there's a couple out here. Not as many as there were behind me. There's a couple right here. Yeah, there's oh boy. Actually see some little fish swimming around over here, some little bait fish. Something a little bigger out there. I don't know what it was. Is life returning to our beach? Wow. I've never seen this many, these, this many blue crabs along our shoreline here. That's pretty impressive. That was pretty impressive, all those blue crabs. Gotta readjust this camera, hang on a second. I gotta power, repower my gimbal here. Stand by for a second. There. I was acting up. Sometimes if you point the camera down too long, it sticks. There's another crab right there. That's a good size one. Ooh, that's a big one right there. Swimming off. That's a big one. They seem to be thinning out further south I go here. Well, who'd have thought, huh? <clears throat> Get so excited about seeing crabs at the beach. <laughs> crabs and some fish. That's absolutely awesome.
give you a look at the water here with the sunlight. What a difference from up at Wiggins Pass. Really looks nice here. My screen has gone dark, unfortunately. That's what happens when you're out in the sun for a long period of time. Gorgeous morning here in North Naples. Right in here, the water looks really nice. Really nice. This is area four, it looks beautiful here. The sky, the water. of a whelk shell over here buried in the sand almost a whelk shell you know what hang on a second I can't barely see the screen. I'm in the shade here. It looked like it was zoomed in before. Sorry about that. That's what's left of a whelk here in the water. What's left of a moon shell. Osprey falling out up in the tree here. See if I can find it. Ugh. I heard him screeching. There he is. Let's see if I can get the sun out of my eyes here. Hang on a second. I can, so I can figure out where it is here. There he is. There's that osprey making all that noise. That's a kind of a small one. Come on, get up there. That's kind of a small osprey. on that branch up there. Up, oh, just took off. <laughs> Beautiful out here though. Look at that sky. Beautiful, beautiful. A 
Look at all the birds taking off. Seagulls. They all just took off from this little sandbar. Looks like the tide's slowly coming back in now. water is not looking bad here. Not looking bad at all. However, we still are under a red tide warning. All these little sandpipers running around on the beach up here. Wow. Quite a sight, huh? Pretty neat. Well, time to get moving. Marching down the beach here.
all the seagulls. Just flocks of them flying back to that little sandbar where we just were. Seen any crabs down here? We saw a lot of blue crabs up in area five. A, a lot of them. Not seeing any down here in areas four and three. Somebody told me there were a lot of them down in area one. What a gorgeous Monday morning, huh? It's beautiful out here, so peaceful. Little waves breaking on the sandbar. Oh, that's sad. Another eel washed up on the beach here. Try to kick it back in the water. But, I'm definitely not going to pick it up. See if it'll swim back out into the water. not looking too good. Come on, go out into the water. <laughs> I don't want it to bite me. It won't go out into the water. It's just swimming along the shore. I'm sure it's dying from the red tide, sadly. Get out there. You you're going the wrong way. Get out in the water. It will not swim out into the deeper water. Get out in the deeper water. <laughs> it refuses to go out into the deeper water. Just keeps coming up on the beach. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. I'm sure it's dying. What a shame. It's 
So sad to see things like that. It's just hard to believe. You look at the water here and it looks so nice. Just to think it's the red tide is still here. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. It just looks so nice there. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining me this morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. Go back a few years. Check out this beach. See what it used to look like several years ago. It's amazing how much it has changed. Be sure to hit the like and follow button. Remember, I don't get paid to come out and do these beach walks. I enjoy doing it, but if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. To those that have done that, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, have a great Monday. Have a great week, wherever you might be. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.